Hey Saints, this video is pretty late, but I had a subscriber email me and ask me, um, because he saw my video when I was talking about the economic meltdown that we're having and that they're trying to lie in your face that, you know, things are not what they seem to be, like things are not as drastic. Um, Sister in Christ asked me if she should panic because she has a retirement pension and she has 401k and my situation to her is I told her I would take it to the Lord in prayer and you know get get the answer straight from Jesus Christ and of course I expect her and you all to test the spirits so Saints, I spoke to Jesus Christ about it, and um, this is a response to the sister, and, and to all of you that may be having the same thoughts, should I panic, what about my retirement, my 401k? Look, you know that you're being warned by servants of God that this economic disaster was coming. They're lying to you like CNN put out this report saying you don't have to panic. That's a lie. I'm not telling you to go panic and, and have an emotional breakdown. I'm telling you that like with every meltdown, you are at risk of losing your 401k, your pension, any investments that you have. Now, if you're right with God and you are covered by the blood of the Lamb and you're living righteous in God's eyes, God being Jesus Christ, then you don't have anything to worry about. And even if you do lose your investments, just know that Jesus Christ will take care of you and he will provide for you. But I'm not going to sit here and tell you that the situation is not good, because it's not. Um, China is on their next business day already, and they are already down... 600 something points, maybe more. I think it was more than a thousand. Their market crashed. Qatar's market crashed. Um, United Arab Emirates, their market crashed. Syria, Saudi Arabia, their markets crashed. I mean, it's not just China. I'm talking about more than one nation in one day, market crashed. I prophesied this to you guys that an economic disaster was coming. I told you that I had a dream that this was going to happen, that there was a news report about this, about the stock market's crashing. I told you, I prophesied this to you guys many times that this was coming and that it's going to get worse. I told you that. This is a prophecy that I gave to you three months ago, a year ago, and it's come to pass. And, and the thing about it is, is that China is the largest economy worldwide. It's not the United States. They're lying to you. When they tell you, like this morning, the Dow Jones said that we were down 1,039 points and that it rebounded 831. That was a flat-out lie. They were trying to calm the public down, calm investors down. It's a lie. The Dow Jones never recovered, ladies and gentlemen. It never did. It never had covered 830-something points. I told you that they're lying and they're manipulating the numbers. I told you that. The economic meltdown is here. It's already here and it's only in the beginning stages. Okay, this nation, many nations have turned their back on God and now that they're paying the price and it's going to get worse. It's not going to be just economically. I'm talking about militarily. Um, I'm talking about biologically, meaning disease. It's going to get worse. Famine's going to get worse. Um, nations are going to get poorer. Poorer nations will get richer. So in other words, the enemies of the United States are going to get richer. Even, even Israel's going to pay. Israel's going to pay the price too. But Israel's going to be saved as foretold in Joel chapter 2 and other parts of scripture. Okay? But it's not good. So, you know, your investments, yes, they're at risk. I mean, that's just the way it is. But if you're covered with the blood of the Lamb, you don't have nothing to worry about. And even if you do lose your investments, who cares? It's just investments. Remember, the love of money 
is the root of all evil, says so in the word of God. So if you are covered with the blood of the Lamb, regardless of what happens to your investments, you don't have to worry about a thing because Jesus Christ will provide. And I'm answering this question for not just one subscriber. I'm answering, answering this question for many brothers and sisters of Christ that are feeling this way. And I know a lot of you are. You're wondering where you're going to get your next meal from. How are you going to feed your family if you lose your job? Well, doesn't Jesus Christ say in the, in, in, in the Bible that doesn't he feed the birds? Doesn't he provide them shelter in the trees? Doesn't he, isn't he the wind beneath their wings when they fly? Doesn't he provide them water? So, Jesus Christ says, if he provides for the animals, even the, the, the beasts of the field, provides them grass to eat and water to drink and shelter, don't, wouldn't he provide for humanity? Aren't you worth more than um, the beasts of the field? Aren't you worth more than animals according to the heavenly order of life, meaning God is at the top, then there's angels, then there's human beings, then there's animals, then there's the fowls of the air, well, there, those animals, right? Then there's beasts of the sea, then there's fowls of the air, and then there's critters. I believe it's in that order. You know, critters meaning insects. So aren't, doesn't God take care of them? So if God takes care of them, wouldn't he take care of you? Aren't you worth more than they are? Wouldn't God provide for you? That, that's saying that Jesus Christ will always find a way. He will always be a rock. He will always provide for you. You can't negate the fact that this economic disaster is coming, and it's here. And a lot of people, like I went to work today, and they were in straight-up denial about what's going on. They just don't want to face facts. Um, I'm ministering to a soul that lives in Qatar right now, and, you know, he's concerned about things. I have another young lady that lives in India. She's concerned about things because their economy crashed, too. Nigeria's economy crashed. This is worldwide. It's, it's like a domino effect. And, and they're not telling you on Wall Street, but the United States stock market crashed, too. They're not telling you that. They're going to lie and say, oh, we have a rebound, this, that, and the other. This economy is not doing well at all, ladies and gentlemen. They're lying about the employment numbers. I told you that in a prior video. They're lying about gas prices. They're lying about how well the economy is doing. They're lying about everything, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? So, all I can tell you to do is to be covered by the blood of the Lamb. Jesus Christ will direct your footsteps if you let Him. That's a choice you have to make. But regardless of what happens to your investments, you should feel uh, safe with the fact, okay, that Jesus will provide, but you have to be righteous in the Most High's eyes. Now, I'm looking at the latest article on China. And so China is obviously hours ahead of the U.S. Excuse me. And their time clock has already been on Tuesday. And this, this was as of one hour ago. But they're, way, they're hours ahead of us. Okay, so according to this, um, Tuesday's Chinese market. I'm going to read you a little bit about this article. Um their market crashed. Their market crashed. And it's not just their market. You look at, like I said, the United Arab Emirates. They're not talking about this in the mainstream media news. You're looking at Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Egypt is on the list, Nigeria, other countries in Africa. I mean, more than one country, you know, economy has crashed. So if they're making it seem like, you know, everybody's doing well, that is a lie. You guys need to wake up, get into reality. I'm not saying this in a derogatory or condescending way, but it's not good, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? It's not good. Let me tell you something. When our stock market crashed in the United States, it was on 
a Monday, and they called it Black Monday, and that was 2008. Don't you find it extraordinary that on Monday, just before September arrives, the stock market of China crashes? I mean, it's extraordinary, ladies and gentlemen. You can't deny the fact that this is Bible prophecy. You can't deny that fact is Bible prophecy, ladies and gentlemen. The markets are tumbling. This is foretold in the scriptures. In the book of Amos, I believe it talks about how, and I pointed the scripture out to you, how the Bible says that they were going to manipulate the numbers. And I'm paraphrasing to you, but it's in the word of God. God, Jesus Christ, talked about this. That they were going to manipulate the numbers. That's happening now. I'm just saying, ladies and gentlemen, you have to wake up, not all of you, I'm saying a lot of you, to the possibility that, you know, this here is worse than the Great Recession that we had. I mean, the Dow Jones Industrial Average fell nearly 600 points. It closed at the end of the day at 600 points. That's what they say. But the father told me it was actually more than that. You have markets falling worldwide, crashing. I told you, more than one market crashed. China is the world's largest economy. Okay? The United States economy is not doing well. They, they lying to you. I'm telling you right now, they are so lying to you. They're making you think that the economy is doing well, ladies and gentlemen, but they're not. The United States economy is not doing well. Around the world, stock markets crash. This is foretold. And what's, what's amazing is that this is before September gets here. I prophesied to you that more than that there was going to be a global market crash. So more than one market economic market was going to crash, ladies and gentlemen. I prophesy that to you. And that's happening, ladies and gentlemen. It's happening. It's really bad. It's a bad situation. Okay? But you have to stay covered by the blood of the Lamb. Not worry about anything. God's going to take care of you if you are right with Him. But if you're not right with Him, you are going to see the hardships... All right, that others will see as well. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's going to be an easy road ahead. But I will tell you this, that God will take care of his righteous. He promises so in his word. And I believe that. I believe that wholeheartedly. But we're looking at stock market crash. I mean, worse than 2008. This was prophesied, ladies and gentlemen. It was prophesied. So with that being said, it is 2 o'clock in the morning. The Lord wanted me to speak on this because it wasn't just this young lady that was feeling these concerns. It was more than one. Now, this is a righteous young lady. Okay, if you stay righteous in the blood of the Lamb, you stay living for God, I'm telling you right now, you're going to make it through this, you're going to be okay. But you have to have faith in God. You can't worry about anything. You give all of your worries and your burdens to the Lord and He will take care of you. But you must be righteous in the Lord, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to encourage you and I'm trying to comfort you as best as I can possibly comfort you, ladies and gentlemen. Because I know that it's not an easy thing worrying about where your next meal is going to come from. I get it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, stay in prayer. Stay right with the Lord. Stay in prayer. Jesus will guide you. 
but you have to stay right in the Lord. So with that being said, I pray for everyone. I mean, it's it's really a bad situation and it's not looking good, ladies and gentlemen. I wish I could say it is, but it's not. So with that being said, I'm going to end this broadcast here. Um, do not trust what you see in the mainstream media news. They're lying to you when they tell you the economy is doing great because it's not. And as far as what I learned from Jesus directly, this, we are in a depression. Okay? And it's going to be worse than the Great Depression. I've told you I've had a dream that, well, I didn't tell you about the dream that I had. It was another one where I saw uh, in the news that there was a stock market crash. And um, it was worldwide. And rich people became poor within seconds. And there was massive suicides. Lord told me that that's coming. On his appointed time, but it's coming and it's not far. And as I told you guys, always test the spirits. Don't take what I say at face value. Always test the spirits. Okay? But it's coming. Those events are prophetic. It's coming. And, and it's not an event that's not going to happen. It's going to happen. I've spoken about this before. And I'm only saying this to you guys because I do care a lot about all of you, okay, and I really do not wish for you to be caught in a crossfire, so to speak, I really don't, you guys, I really don't, so all I can tell you to do is stay covered by the blood of the Lamb. Stay under the covering of Jesus Christ. Stay right with the Lord. The Lord will find a way for you. He will make a way. That being said, I'm going to have to end this broadcast now. But the Lord will find a way for you. You have to have faith in that. Don't worry. Don't fret. Don't. Worry about where your next meal is going to come from. Remember, if Jesus Christ provides for his creatures, he will definitely provide for humanity. Those that are right in the Lord's eyes. Um, as I told you guys before, my ministry is coming to an end soon. I don't know when, guys, girls. I don't know when. That's God's call. I know it's pretty soon. I can just feel it in my spirit. It's not looking good, ladies and gentlemen. It's here. The economic disaster you all feared is here. And it's only in the beginning stages and it's going to get worse. You will see increased layoffs across the country. Hours cut back. Businesses closing. And it's going to get worse. So you need to make sure is that you're covered by the blood of the Lamb and you give your all to Jesus Christ. So that way, like in the book of Exodus, you know how the angel of death came about and, you know, you had your wicked people in the streets not covered and they died when they were in the path of the angel of death. That way you are not the wicked people on the streets. You are the ones in the house, the Israelites, that are covered by the blood of the Lamb. The smart ones that live righteous in God's eyes sacrifice a Lamb. Remember the Lamb of God? And covered your door with the blood of the Lamb. You want to be covered by the blood of the Lamb. I will keep you updated on what I find out from the Lord as much as I can, but I expect you to test the spirits. 
Do not take what I say at face value. You go straight to Jesus Christ. And ask him if what I tell you is true. And you seek the counsel of Jesus Christ. God bless.